Colonic diverticula are outpocketings of the colonic mucosa and submucosa through weaknesses of muscle layers in the colon wall. In this patient's sigmoid, we see a plethora of diverticula, one next to the other. Diverticulosis may affect the entire colon, but it is most common in the sigmoid colon because this is the colonic segment with the highest luminal pressure. As you can see, the passage of the sigmoid can be challenging in patients with diverticulosis, especially when they harbor plenty and large diverticula. Large diverticular openings can mimic the colonic lumen. This is dangerous because unintended advancement of the colonoscope inside a diverticula might cause perforation of the thin base of the diverticula. My advice is to advance the colonoscope only under direct visualization in these patients. An optimal bowel prep is a prerequisite. Careless and fast insertion of the endoscope puts the patient at risk for severe complications. This diverticula is fairly easily confounded with a curved course of the sigmoid. In this patient, diverticulosis is not limited to the sigmoid, but it affects the whole colon. As you can see, colonoscopy in patients with diverticulosis is often challenging and complex. Be prepared and plan extra time.